Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss one of the most important topic, which is Assistant API. Now, since it's launched, people are having so much of confusion whether we should go for Assistant API or whether we should go with the traditional way wherein we will create our own vectorized database and will push in our chunks into it. So what is the best option for you? Because Assistant API is the one which doesn't work for all the use cases and there are certain reasons behind it. And that's what I'm going to discuss today in this video. So if you're not sure how to get started with Assistant API or what this Assistant API is all together, I would recommend you to watch my previous videos. So here you can see two videos. The first one is create your first AI assistant and the second video which I have highlighted here in orange block is call your own API inside AI assistant. So these two are the videos which can give you pretty much good idea about what this assistant API is and once you are done with that I would take you to the another slide where we will see what are the benefits of using assistant API. So let's not get into what this because I don't want to unnecessarily increase the length of this video rather let's stick to the point why to use and why not to use. So the very first reason or the benefits of using Assistant API is minimum coding. So let's say if you don't know much about the internal process of what is this chunking, what is embedding and all those things and still you want to come up with your own assistant then this is the option for you. Another thing is embedding. Like I said you need not to worry about which model should I use for embedding or how to do the chunking or what all the parameters I need to pass uh, along with uh, this uh, the model parameters so that I can get a better response. So all these things are the real headache and you need not to worry about any of these when you are using Assistant API. The another important thing is the context window management because if you are a newbie you don't know much of it then it's not easy to deal with the contextual length of your input data. So in that case Assistant API is your friend because it automatically manages the context window and whenever your uh, window exceeded or the data exceeded your model's context length then Assistant API will take care of it and it will automatically drop few of the oldest messages from your, uh, with respect to your current thread. So this is how it works and regarding this truncation st strategy definitely is going to evolve over time. Another thing is smooth handling of authorization. So it is very easy to implement the authorization part to give control of who can access your assistant or who cannot access your assistant. So this is the thing which can provide you much more better handling. You can decide like who can access and who cannot access. Another thing is easy integration of tools and documents. So like we know that Assistant API is very well known for its tool integration. So if you have some external tools, if you want to call in some other APIs or private functions which you have already written somewhere, then you can easily plug in those functions into Assistant API using its function calling feature. And even the retrieval is quite good if you are a very newbie and you don't have a very harsh requirement or if you are not particular about what kind of response you are expecting. So you can go with Assistant API. Another thing is about the documentations. So it contains up to, it can take up to 20 documents wherein each document cannot exceed more than 512 MB. And then another thing to remember here is the total size of the documents which you are uploading for your organization should not exceed 100 GB. Wherein each file can have up to two like tokens. So this is the constraint which you need to take care of it. Apart from that, it is very good. It is very fluent for those who are just in experiment mode or who just want to get the taste of what these chatbots are. Okay, now we know what all things we can do. Let's talk a little bit about the limitations of Assistant API and it will give you a clear idea whether this Assistant APIs are meant for you or not. So let's talk about the very first one. The first one is let's say you have fine tuned your model, you have added some more data to it or if you want some particular kind of response, then in that case, Assistant API is not going to work because today, as of today, it doesn't take actual fine tuned models as an input. Another limitation is it supports max 20 files. So like I spoke about the size restriction and the number of tokens your individual files can contain. This would not be your choice if you have huge number of documents wherein you have huge number of individual files. So 
you cannot go with assistant API because you have to be restricted to 20 files per assistant when you are going with assistant API. Another thing is billing mechanism. So this thing to remember here is that you are billed per day for storage. So let's say if you have a huge documents, then that would be a costly solution for you. So in that case, you should completely avoid assistant APIs. Another thing is limited or no control. So you have no control over the amount of chat context. You have no control over the metadata enhancements or the prom enhancement techniques which you want to use with the semantic search retrieval. So if you are very good technically, if you know the internals of how to chunk my data, what is the perfect chunking size for me or what all parameters I need to pass as a model's parameter to get the proper response, then it, that in that case, you should not go with Assistant API because all these customizations are not at all permitted with Assistant API. It just goes with the default flow. Another thing, like I said, is max context length utilized. So in case of Assistant API, it will uh, fill the complete max context length. So you cannot say that my max context length is 100 and just use 20. So those are the things which you cannot handle uh, with Assistant API. It will take your complete max length, whatever is available for that um, model which you are using. Now let's talk about few of the takeaways or the conclusions. So you should go for Assistant API if you have very less documents or if your chatting history is very small or if people are not chatting for like quite a huge long time then in that case you can go with assistant api but if you are good with the internal workings of how models works or how to do embedding how to club those how to perform the vector search and your document size is going to be quite huge in that case you can definitely go for assistant uh, you can uh, not go for assistant api so let me reiterate if there is any confusion. So if you have small chats, less number of documents, less coding experience, then Assistant API is your friend. But if you are fluent in technical knowledge, you want to do your own embedding, you want to choose your own embedding models, if you want to do your uh, chunking your data, if you want to set your model parameter, you or customer is going to have a long chat, then in that case, never ever go for Assistant API because it could be very costly and it will not give you the flex flexibility wherein you can customize or tweak these things. So I hope you get an idea of what uh, are your use cases or when you can use this Assistant API. Do let me know in comments if you feel that there is anything which I missed as part of this comparison and we'll try to add it in the comment section. Thanks for watching.